Hi class, this is Dr. O'Connor. In this video, we're going to talk about acid and base equivalents and then another concentration unit called normality. And we like to use normality, especially in clinical situations, when all we're interested in are the number of hydrogen ions or the number of hydroxide ions. So we're not necessarily interested in the identity of the acid. So some definitions here. One equivalent of an acid contains one mole of hydrogen ions. And one equivalent of a base contains one mole of hydroxide ions. So normality then is defined as the number of equivalents of acid or base divided by the liters of solution. Well, it turns out that when we're looking or comparing normality and molarity, that they are going to be the same for monoprotic acids. So in other words, if I say that I have a two normal hydrochloric acid solution, that would be equivalent to a two molar hydrochloric acid solution. If I say I have a 0.5 molar nitric acid solution, that would be the same as 0.5 molar nitric acid, because those are monoprotic acids. But they're going to be different for diprotic and triprotic acids. So if we know the molarity of the acid, we can find the normality and we take the molarity, multiply by the number of hydrogen ions that are produced per formula unit, and then the normality of a base can be found if we know the molarity, and we multiply that by the number of hydroxide ions produced in the formula unit. So let's just do a few examples here to see what's going on. So here we're asked how many equivalents are in 6.6 .6 grams of sulfuric acid. We're given the molar mass of the sulfuric acid. So first thing I want to do is I have to convert that to moles. And we know that, let's see, I looked up the molar mass for sulfuric acid. It's 98. 0 0.079 grams, and that's per mole. And we see that sulfuric acid is a diprotic acid. So what we have is for every mole of sulfuric acid, we have two equivalents, and that's because of those two um, acidic protons. It's a diprotic acid. This works out to be 0 0.13 equivalents of the sulfuric acid. Okay? Uh, let's do problem number two here. So here we're asked what is the normality of a solution made by diluting 10.6 grams of sulfuric acid to a volume of 350 milliliters? What is the molarity? And then we're being asked, what is the concentration of milli equivalents per liter? Let's go ahead and define. We know normality is the number of equivalents of acid or base, in this case acid, over liters of solution. Well, our volume is 350 milliliters, so that would be the same as 0 0.350 liters. So what we need to find are the number of equivalents. So we have 10.6 grams of sulfuric acid. And we know that there are 98.079 grams per mole. And each mole, it's a diprotic acid, has two equivalents. So this works out to be 0. 216 equivalents. And so now we can determine the normality. The normality is the number of equivalents, 0 0.216. And we will divide that 
by the volume, 0 0.350 liters, is 0.618 normal. And then we're asked, what is the molarity? So the molarity, if we look up here, if the normality would be the molarity times the number of hydrogen ions produced. So in this case, we know the normality. So the molarity would be the normality divided by the number of hydrogen ions produced. So this would be our molarity would be 0 0.618. We have a diprotic acid. So we have the two hydrogen ions and that would give us a molarity of 0 0.309 molar. Okay, so practice some of these and if you have any questions, please let me know. Everybody enjoy the day.